Hey guys, a lovely good morning to everyone and I hope you all are doing fantastic today. So today I am back with very useful topic and before I start explaining about this topic, let me ask you one of the question. If I ask you, how do you deployment from dev to staging to the production? And if your answer is that each and every time you have to build the code and then you deploy on different environment like dev, staging and production. So in such cases, you must see my this tutorial because under this tutorial, I am going to show you the way that how you build once and deploy multiple times. So you can further avoid the multiple code build. Hello guys, my name is Avinas and you are watching the learning destination. If you haven't yet subscribed my channel, then please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon as well. Hey guys, so for your better understanding, now I am going to explain this entire process using this diagram. So on this diagram, you can see that there is a master branch having the stable release 1.0. Using this stable release from the master branch, I have created two branch. One is called release branch and second branch is called development branch. It means that both the branch have the release stable version 1.0. Now from development branch, there is a different features branch is created by different developers. So let's suppose that the following developer is working on feature one, the second developer is working on feature two, so on the other developers working on feature three and feature four. Okay, so now this developer has successfully completed their work and finally they are merging their changes into the development branch with the commit C1. So one, the other developers follows the same and has made the commit C2 and C3. So at this point of time, we are thinking that the code is quite stable and is ready to further deploy on the dev environment. So after that, after C3, after commit 3, we are tagging it with the release version 1.1. However, the feature 4 is still under development. But at this moment of time, we have think that this commit 3 is quite stable. So we are ready to go with these three entity changes on further deployment onto the day. Okay, so we have tag here this release and the tag is release 1.1. So now we are going to further build this tag release 1.1 and we have built it after we have tested so after testing we are further deploying into the development okay so here you see that this is the only once time build and after build we test it and then we finally deploy it on the uh, dev environment so on the dev environment if we are getting all the expected result from the test it means that if it passes all the test cases and deployment is successful, then further we introduce into the artifactory. Okay, so here we can use the Nexus artifactory, JFrog artifactory, right? So there are various options available. So once it is stored from the artifact, right, then we can further deploy it onto the staging. Okay, if it passes all the test cases, everything on the staging level, then we finally deploy onto the production. And that's why you can see that first deploy on the staging. You don't go directly on the production, you first test it on the staging and if it passes all the test cases, then after that you deploy onto the productions. Okay, that's why I have written that second deploy on production. So if you see that there is only one time build, right? And if somehow if it fails here only, right, then you again uh, back to development channel and then you start fixing and then you further introduce and tag it with the some different tag version, maybe 1.1.0, 1. Uh, 1. 1. something like that. And then you again come. So in these cases, you can see that this is the uh, process called build once and deploy multiple times. It means that once you store into the artifactory, right? After that, simply you can deploy multiple times onto the staging and the production. And un under this approach, you can see that we are not going to build each and every time. Okay. So now after the productions, if it success, everything successful uh, occurs here as well on the productions level, right? Then after that, you merge this release 1.1 to the master branch okay so here you will have the complete tested complete stable release 1.1 into the master branch it will be become your golden copy okay simultaneously you can place here the security as well it means that you can only allow some certain users to access or merge to the master branch okay so here one step level up you are maintaining the security as well so under this approach you can see that you are only building once and deploying multiple times so this is the approach which i wanted to highlight you and i hope you really enjoy it 
Hey guys, so I believe that you really enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any further questions, please write me in the comment section and I will answer it there. Guys, one more request. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel and share it with your friends and the colleagues. So I will see you next week with some more interesting topic. Till that time, thank you so much for watching this. You have a very happy and lovely weekend.